Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Numerics with Nadia. In today's video, we're going to continue working through the beginning geometry module. In this video, we will go over the area and perimeter of three shapes. We will continue doing these types of videos for other shapes as well. But in this video for part one, we'll do triangles, squares, and rectangles. So our lesson plan for today, first off, we'll go through and we will define what area is and what perimeter is and visually be able to see the differences there. Then we'll go through the area and perimeter formulas for triangles, squares, and rectangles. And then as always, we will end off with some practice problems. All right, you guys, now that we have our roadmap with our lesson plan, let's get into the first part of today's lesson. Let's first off go over what area is. So what is area? Area is how we measure the space inside of a shape. So what does this look like? I'll put in a little example here for us. Here we have a square. That shaded region, that whole blue shaded region would be what we would call the area, right? That's all the space inside of the shape. So now that we've gone through the definition and now that we've gone through a visual for area, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around the edge of a shape. So looking back at that example that we have above, that blue outline, which I've kind of also followed through with you guys again, that whole distance around the shape would be what we would call our perimeter. So now that we've gone through the definitions of what perimeter is and what area is, and we've looked at it visually, let's get into the formulas for area and perimeter for those three shapes that we had discussed earlier. So to start off, we're gonna start with the triangle. And for a triangle, again, this is a three-sided shape, right? You can go back to the video I have for classifying polygons. I'll link it right up here for you guys. This triangle that I'm drawing here is just an example. They come in many different shapes and orientations. We will go through that in a later video. But the equation for the area of a triangle is one half, which is a fraction, times b times h and b all that stands for is base and h stands for height so it is one half times the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle so here in blue i'm demonstrating that this is the base right that's where that's what the triangle is standing on that is our base and the height of the triangle is how tall it is that is that vertical line in the middle there so one half base times height is our equation for area of a triangle. I would definitely write that one down in your notebook. Now we'll get into perimeter. Remember the perimeter is the distance around the shape. So perimeter's formula would be A plus B plus C, where A, B, and C are the lengths of the sides of the triangle. I'll draw a separate triangle for us down here to demonstrate perimeter. So a, B, and C, if I draw it out here in our different colors, those three sides added together would be our perimeter formula. So I'd write both of these down into our notebooks before we move on to our second shape. Our second shape for today's lesson is going to be a rectangle. Now for rectangles, the area is going to use similar uh, variables, right? Similar letters as the last one. Area of a rectangle is just base times height, B times H, right? And I'll go through here and I will color code the base. The base again in blue is what the rectangle sits on, right? Imagine if it was on the table, that is the base of it. And the height is how tall it is so that I have shown for us in purple. So now that we have the equation for area of a rectangle, we'll get into perimeter. Both of these equations we definitely wanna make sure are in our notebook. We'll get more comfortable and we'll eventually memorize all of them, but for now, let's write everything out. So perimeter would be A plus B plus C plus D. And again, perimeter is all of the sides added together. So I'll go through here and draw another visual for us. In this visual, we see that we are adding all the sides together. We have A and B and C and D, and so we will add all of these up for our perimeter formula. So definitely write both of these down in your notebook. Moving on to our last shape for today. Our last shape is a square. 
So for a square, again, a square is similar to a rectangle, but squares have a very special thing about them, which I will explain to you guys in just a second. If I draw out my square, what I see is that all sides in a square measure the same length. So that means that all of the sides are equivalent. In other words, they're all the same length, right? So any side that we're given, we know that all of the other four sides are gonna be the same. So getting into our area formula, we would just have the side squared because normally as we've seen, it's base times height, but since they're the same, you just multiply the sides together, which in this case would be the side squared. Now for perimeter, right, it's adding all of the sides together, but remember, they are all the same length. So it would just be four times that side value since there are four sides and they are all equal. So those are the two formulas for squares. Now that we've gone through the area and perimeter formulas for all of our shapes, we'll get into our practice section for today. The directions for our practice section say to find the area and perimeter of the shapes below. So the first shape we're gonna have that I'm drawing out here is going to be a square. So for number one, our square, remember all the sides in a square are the same length, right? So we are given the side length here of three inches. And if we remember the formula for area of a square is just that side length squared. So we have that side length is three here, right? So it would just be area equals three squared. We know that three squared breaks up into three times three. So the area would be nine. And for the units here, I'm gonna put a little note for us on the side. For any area type of question, the units will always be squared. So here our units are inches squared. Any type of unit you have will be squared for an area. Now we'll get into perimeter. And if we recall, the equation for perimeter of a square is just four times that side length. The side length is three, so we know it's four times three. And Units for perimeter are just as is, so it would be 12 inches for our perimeter. Now we'll move on to number two. For number two, the shape we have is a rectangle, so try to see if you can remember those equations before I write them out. The dimensions we have here, our base is 10, and our height is two centimeters. So area is base times height for a rectangle, and we know that our base is 10 and our height is two. So we can substitute that in. We know that it would be area equals 10 times two, which is just 20. And again, units are always squared, so it would be 20 centimeters squared for our area of this rectangle. Now we'll get into perimeter. I'll fill in the missing sides. Every parallel side in a rectangle is gonna be equivalent. So our dimensions, all the numbers we're gonna add up is 10 and two and 10 and two. We know that 10 plus two is 12, so it's basically 12 plus 12. So our perimeter for this rectangle will be 24 centimeters. Now we'll get into our final practice problem for today. For number three, our shape will be a triangle because we haven't done that one yet, right? This triangle, our base is six inches, our height is five inches, and then that slanty looking line, right? The measure of that is four inches. So for area of a triangle, we remember that the equation is one half base times height, right? Our base is six and our height is five. So we'll go through here and fill everything in. It will be one half times six times five. We know that six times five is 30, right? So it's basically one half times 30. Now we're multiplying a fraction by a whole number. How we do this is we make that whole number have a denominator of one. When we cross cancel, we get that the area would just be 15 inches squared. If you guys need a refresher on how to multiply a fraction by a whole number, I will link that video here for you guys. Now for the perimeter of this triangle, we just add all the sides together. So six plus five plus four, that gives us 11 plus four. So the perimeter is 15 inches for number three. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like it if you did. Comment down below any questions you have on this topic or any other topic you would like to see a video on. 
Feel free to share this video with a friend, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.